Welcome to part 11 of the bathroom tutorial. We're going to start by probooling um, the rest of our little moldings. So select the molding, come hide objects, probooling, start picking, remember to save. All right. Convert to an editable poly. And lastly, we're going to want to select this one. Bring it over. Mirror on the Y axis, apparently. And let's see if it works. It does. Go to the left hand viewport and line it up. We have a little space between the wall, and we have something horrible right there. All right, let's go see what. Um. All right, let's see what we have here now. All right, so I figured out the problem. The problem is these things aren't actually four. All the bottom pieces are. So we're gonna have to do some scaling. Not a big problem though. Let's just scale these down a bit. And we're just going to eyeball this because we already have all the angles correct. We just need uh, to, put the, to position them correctly. Vector volume, center to object. Move it back up to the top of the door. This one oops, out. And let's move this one out. All right. Next, let's uh, connect the edges here. So it's a simple process. Move it up until you reach the point, the intersection point. Then do the same for the other one. And if one doesn't match, just shift it a bit. And it'll hopefully match eventually. Same for this side, so select oops, these verts and bring them out. Next, select these and bring them up to match. And then if they don't match exactly, you can again move the entire object until you get a nice fit. Alright. Last step is to move these verts down to the bottom again. Alright, let's go into perspective, F3. Let's see what we have. It immediately looks much better because I was looking at was uh, this corner piece right here. It just didn't look right in the other method. And if you want, you can just move this in, because that's the way it is in the actual design. Uh, this isn't as deep. And now we have one door done. Alright. Um, 
And I guess we can go on to the second door. Let's actually label this. So we're pretty much going to follow the exact same steps. Um, control click. Okay. Um, Alright, let's bring it up to the uh, level of the other one. It's actually one of the four of you here. Just make it a bit easier. I'll change this to a perspective. Alright. Uh, next, select the bottom lines as well. And connect. Just make sure we have everything. And you're going to want to slide it to be equal. Control select the verts and slide them as well. Alright. Um, next, we're going to want to do the same again. So, select those lines, select those lines, connect. Alright, select the verts, and then just actually I think that was the wrong side. We need to select the verts on this or the lines on this side. Connect. And by the way, if none of you have seen Avatar, go see it. It is an absolutely amazing movie. And the CG is Suffice to say, mind blowing. And also, see the 3D. Uh, one of my all time favorite movies now. It's like both sides and control bridge. Alright. Alright, now that we have this pro booleaned out, let's um, just delete this piece right here. We don't really need it. And select all the door pieces here. Deselect that. And deselect camera as well. And let's just shift drag. And we'll mirror it along the. Let's see. X axis, I believe. top view, and then just line up the edges of the molding with the wall. And there we go, we now have two doors in place, and they look quite nice. We're going to have to thin out the walls a bit, but that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, that'll be it for this part of the tutorial. I'll see you in the next part.